Okay. Happy Labor Day, guys. I'm doing a quick reading before I go live at um, 7 p.m. Pacific, 10 Eastern tonight. I got a couple new decks, so um, I'm going to go ahead and cleanse them right now. some Palo Santo. Cleanse the energies. These are new decks here. to begin this reading is going to be for my collective September 6th 2021 what does my collective need to hear spirit what does my collective need to hear Spirit, what does my collective need to hear? More shuffle. Spirit, what does my collective need to hear? There we go. <laughs> that was easy, huh? Ooh, that might be too many. I'm going to put them back. Too many. Spirit, what does my collective need to hear, please? Three cards. Perfect. I don't read reversals, so there we go. All right. So it looks like you are, um, you're standing in your power here. There's a lot of air and fire energy in this reading. Um, uh, looks like in the past you, um, might have given someone an ultimatum to, um, show you what they were feeling towards you or what kind of actions they could take towards you because you're a very action oriented person. And I feel like this person was all words. Um, in the present moment here, we have the seven of swords. See how she's holding four, or I'm sorry, five of the swords and two of them are into the ground. It's just telling me that in the present moment, um, there's a lot of this chatter and no action. And then for the future, the King of Swords here, which is basically um, you're being the authoritative one in this situation and you're not allowing this person to walk all over you and give you some sort of uh, some sort of talk without the walk. You know what I mean? So I'm going to go ahead and clarify these.
Spirit, please clarify this Three of Wands in the past for me. This is a brand new deck. This is my Cat Tarot. I'm so excited about it. Please clarify the Three of Wands for me, Spirit. Three of Wands. Okay. Oh, too many fell out. Please clarify the Three of Wands for me in this situation. Page of Wands, that's what, that's what came out. Yeah, this person, um, they could be younger than you. They could be a younger fire sign. Doesn't have to be, but... Um, this is basically telling me that this person, maybe they want to take action towards this, um, this relationship, but they're immature. They just want to, you know, they just want to play. <laughs> they don't want anything serious is what this is telling me here. Um, please clarify the seven of wands for me, spirit. Please clarify the seven of wands for me. Please clarify the seven of wands for me. I'm sorry, the seven of swords. Seven of swords. Please clarify the seven of swords for me, spirit. Oh, what is that? Sorry, I just got this deck. Um, let's see what the book says here. And that is a 10 of is that pentacles? Mm, no, it's not. Hmm, interesting. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to figure out what this card is. There's nothing on it. <laughs> cute though oh it's the ten of wands interesting all right so regarding the seven of swords it seems like you're just exhausted with this um connection here okay um and understandably because i mean it feels like you have all your ducks in a row here and this person is just trying to play you for a fool and you're not about it. So my advice would be not to let your guard down here and don't take the burden or the responsibility of this connection on you. Because it like I like I said, this person is all talk. They're no action. Okay. And if you follow this, you're gonna be having you'll you'll have a lot more fortune coming your way. Let's go ahead and clarify the King of Swords. Spirit, please clarify the King of Swords for my collective. Please clarify the King of Swords for my collective. Oh, again, I think this is the um, mm -hmm. Seven of Cups, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, it is. That's the Seven of Cups here. 
So the Seven of Cups, clarifying the King of Swords in the future position. It seems like, um, again, this person is just kind of like, you're, mm -hmm. you're in your power and this person has just been all talk. So maybe what they're doing is they're kind of trying to sell you a... They're trying to sell you a dream here. And I feel like you have a number of paths ahead of you. So don't don't necessarily run into or rush into a choice. Because the last thing you want to do is, is pick a path that's not going to fulfill you. And trust your instincts on this one, okay? I'm going to go ahead and pull just a couple message cards here. Okay. Spirit, what messages do my collective need to hear? What messages does my collective need to hear? I'm going to go ahead and take three cards. There they go. Aromatherapy, make a meal, chanting, and nourish your temple. This is all self-love, guys. This is all taking care of your body, your temple, your mind, body, and soul. That's what this is telling me here. Take care of yourself. And one more message. Because I love these cards so much. More messages for my collective. Hope everybody's Labor Day is going great. Messages for my collective, please. Two more. You're giving away your power. You're a badass. Act like it. Okay? <laughs> I mean, I literally just said that. You're in your power, guys. Fucking apologize. I feel like that's for your person more than anything. Seriously, just do it. And have you eaten? You're acting like a big ass baby. You need food in your belly. Eat a fucking taco. Okay, guys? You see this? How it's all co coinciding here. Okay? Nourish yourself. Take care of yourself. Stop worrying about this person. As soon as you stop worrying about this person and what they're doing, the quicker you're going to go on your righteous path that you deserve. Okay, guys. All right, guys. Well, that's about all the messages I have for today. I will be going live at 7 p.m. Pacific tonight, 10 p.m. Eastern time. So if you can tune in, that'd be greatly appreciated. Please like, share, and subscribe on my YouTube and like and comment on my Instagram if possible. Bye, guys. Have a good one.